Roman Catholics don't worship Mary, eh? Well, these images actually prove otherwise. Roman Catholicism is nothing more than just the ancient Babylonian mother goddess worship in Jeremiah chapter 19, verse 17, down to verse 25. The, the Queen of Heaven. And, and the irony is they actually call Mary the Queen of Heaven. They're not even trying to hide it. Now, they say, oh, it's not referring to the Babylonian goddess. Again, they, they have to keep telling themselves that to actually convince themselves of it. Just like how they keep telling themselves that bowing down to, to statues of Mary is not idolatry. You know? See, you tell yourself something enough and then you end up actually convincing yourself of it. And you have, you have to have a lot of that going on to, to make yourself believe that this is not idolatry. Okay? Here's the first image I'll show you. Uh, they're parading around a Mary statue in a, in a procession. Now, you look up any image of a Hindu idol procession, it's no different. It's the same thing. But you see, because they're, we're saying we're venerating Mary, so it's not the same thing. Yes, it is. It's just them telling themselves it enough to the point where they actually convince themselves that this is not idolatry. Here's the next image. This is an interesting one, too. Again, another procession of Mary. There are all this crowd gathering around this one idol and carrying her around in this, you know, uh, flotation, you know, this float type of thing where it's like this, like, it, it's basically a shrine, you know. Oh, but they don't worship Mary. No, that's not... That's not, that's not the same thing that Hindus do over in India with their idols, sure. And I'm going to show you from scriptural standards, by the way, this is in fact idolatry. See, their traditions may say otherwise, but the problem is when you're in a cult like Roman Catholicism is the final authority is the Pope, okay? Biblical Christianity, biblical uh, faith of Jesus Christ, because Christianity is not a biblical term, biblical faith of Jesus Christ, the Bible's the final authority, Okay. But look at this other picture. And notice, too, how it's always Mary. They didn't, I mean, Jesus is kind of a side figure. Mary is just it's a, just Mary everywhere. When you go to a Roman Catholic uh, country or Roman Catholic neighborhood, just Mary statues everywhere. You go to a Catholic church, it's not Jesus on the front of the church. It's Mary at the front of the church. But here's another image where they're, again, parading this idol around this mother goddess statue in this uh, procession. And all the crowds are gathering there to see this idol being paraded around. And then you got a little cross back there with a stick figure that probably is supposed to be Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's what I mean when I say that Jesus is more kind of a side figure that like, you know, Mary's really who they who they wanna who they really want to go after. Now here's another picture. Uh, I guess this is some kind of saint or whatever uh, they're parading around. No different than the Marian statue parading around. Uh, and notice these occultic looking masks that they're wearing. Yeah. Roman Catholicism is the mystery religion. It is the occult. It is, during the Middle Ages, they were the witches. And the, and the witches they were supposedly burning at the stake were actually the born-again Bible believers who told them that. That they're the ones who are, who are the witches. Now this other picture, again, this is apparently not idolatry. Check this out. They're basically all the pra uh, praising, placing offerings before the statue and bowing down before it. You know? I mean, how is that any different than what the Hindus do? Again, just look up any image of a Hindu idol procession or Hindu, you know, the offerings and the whatever else. It's no different. The only difference is they're claiming to do it in the name of Christ. But the thing is, their Christ is not the Christ of the, of the Word of God. Their Christ is, is the spirit of Antichrist. So, here's some scripture proving this, this is, in fact, idolatry. See, it may not be idolatry by the Pope standards, but the, by the Word of God's standards, it is, in fact, idolatry. Exodus 20, verse 4 to 5. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. There goes your images of God. You know, God the Father, you know, Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost. You're not supposed to make any image of anything that is in heaven above. Or that is in the earth beneath. Or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of, his, of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. See, God's not going to share his glory with Mary. And by the way, Mary, because again, their Mary is simply the queen of heaven. The Mary of the word of God would never have been okay with any of this. In fact, she would have been the first one to grab a sledgehammer and smash those Mary idols. So, I'll just throw that out there as well. Here's another scripture these, these uh, Roman Catholics violate. Leviticus 26, verse 1. You shall make you no idols, nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image. Neither shall you set up any image of stone in, the land to, in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. Oh, but apparently a kneeling before and giving offerings is not, oh, it's not, it's not worshipping, not worshipping Mary. Yeah. 
And again, they're not even worshipping Mary. They're worshipping the Queen of Heaven because the Mary of the Word of God would never have been okay with any of this. She would have been, again, the first to grab the sledgehammer and smash their idols. So I wanted to show you guys that. You know, it's, it's just insanity. You have to just keep telling yourself, it's not idolatry, we're venerating her. It's not idolatry, idolatry we're venerating her. And, then, and you do this psychological mind game on yourself. And then you actually end up convincing yourself that placing offerings before a statue, bowing down before her and parading it around in that procession is not idolatry. When, it's no, when you look at it, how it is, it's no different than what the Hindus do. It's no different than what the Buddhists do. No different than, you know, what any other false pagan religion does. It's no different. The only difference is they're claiming to do it in the name of Christ. But again, which Christ is, is, are they referring to? It's not Jesus Christ of, of the Word of God. It's their false Christ. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.